Korea, under the Joseon dynasty, was a Confucian state with strict rules for relationships between people of different status, class, and age. In Joseon dynasty, it was vital that all ceremonies, such as ancestral rites, marriages, and funerals, be held in strict accordance with prescribed etiquette. This included everything from the position and order in which ceremonial items of food were placed on offering tables to the clothing and conduct of those involved. In particular, royal ceremonies were highly ornate affairs requiring meticulous preparation, vast sums of money, and huge numbers of people. All details of royal and state-sponsored events were recorded for posterity. These records are the Ugwe, or the Royal Protocols of the Joseon Dynasty. The Ugwe constitute a huge collection of records, totaling 3,895 volumes. The Ugwe contain not only details of the money and other commodities used for the event, but also records of what was done to prepare and the roles of the people. In particular, Several Ugwe contain records of the kinds of people generally ignored in the history of time, such as artisans and even government slaves who undertook miscellaneous chores. But what really distinguishes the Ugwe from other records is their detailed pictures. These pictures show us things difficult to describe in words, such as the clothing worn by the participants and their movements, showing us a vivid reconstruction of the event. This gives the Ugwe a particular significance as documentary heritage. In Confucian societies such as Joseon, records were the starting points for evaluation of the past. Documents such as the Ugwe embody the Joseon state's quest to ensure the transparency of government through detailed records. But Joseon did not create the Ugwe just for practical reasons. The physical form of these books also has great symbolic significance. As these records were intended to fulfill both a practical and a symbolic purpose, copies of the Ugwe were created in different forms, depending on the purpose of the individual copy. For example, when they were intended to be distributed to government offices to be consulted when necessary, they were made to be light, sturdy, and relatively inexpensive. But, when intended for the king's personal use, they were extraordinary books, created using the finest materials and decoration. These exquisite ugwe, intended for royal perusal, are a sublime expression of the cultural ideas pursued by the Joseon state through its archives. The distinctiveness of the ugwe for royal use begins with the paper on which they were written. The Ugwe, made for greater practical use, were written on paper made from mulberry bark, but the Ugwe for royal use were written on shojuji, an ivory-colored paper thicker and lighter than mulberry paper, giving a more luxurious effect. The process for putting the text on the paper also differed. To create the Ugwe after a state event, all the documents produced in the planning of the event were first gathered together, and then clean copies were made. Two specially selected copyists with excellent writing would be assigned to make the clean copy for the royal Ugwe, but only one copyist would be assigned to the copies for distribution. Even the lines drawn on the paper in advance to ensure that the text was written straight show how the royal Ugwe were distinguished from the copies meant for distribution. The lines on the paper for the Ugwe for distribution would be printed by a craftsman, but the ruled lines on the Ugwe for royal use would be drawn by a specialist painter, giving a more delicate and beautiful effect. As with other books in the royal household, the Ugwe for royal use were covered using silk. The covers were then further distinguished by the addition of paper dyed a color such as sky blue, green, or jade and a special technique called Bianto was used to bind the books. Bianto did not use ordinary thread for the binding, but instead used tacks made of brass, finished with beautiful carved patterns of lotus flowers or vines. Finally, a ring was added to the central part of the binding and, rather than being stacked, 
These heavy books were hung from the bookshelves, apparently to prevent the buildup of moisture, the greatest threat to the book's preservation. All documentary heritage has its own value, both in terms of content and physical properties. But the Uguay give a particular sense that it is not just the content of the book that is important. Its external appearance carries great meaning. In this case, we really can judge a book by its cover. An examination of how the form of the book depended on its purpose is a lesson in the history of book culture. The beautiful covers, the exquisite golden flowers on the binding, and the paper, which retains its subtle sheen even after hundreds of years, all showcase the finest materials and techniques of their time and embody the ideals of the archival culture pursued by the Joseon state, making the Royal Joseon Uguay truly outstanding items of documentary heritage. <laughs>